All right, hopefully my audio is good for today. Um, hey, we got Mr. Shelton. We got the, uh, hey, we're not even a minute in, eh? We're not even a minute in. It's not like the other channels where there's like 400 or 600 people waiting, but salute to Mr. Shelton in the chat. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to get right into this. Um, so there has been... Fury coming out and saying that I don't know how long this will go for either. Uh, Fury has come out and he has said he's fighting December 5th and very, very soon there'll be an opponent. Actually, I'm going to bring the audio up. I'm going to bring the audio up right now because I want to do a little presentation today, just like last week. Um, yes, here we go. Let's see. This is Tyson Fury. Speaking, it was only like 20 seconds of worth of talking, so um, let's see what Tyson Fury says here. Here we go. Hi, this is Tyson Fury, aka yes. the Gypsy King, and uh, just like to announce I'm definitely fighting December the 5th in London in the UK. Uh, opponent to be announced very, very soon. Just working on some opponents. Uh, let you all know who it's going to be shortly. Watch this space. Return of the Mac. Okay. Cool. One, I don't believe Tyson. Okay. However, I heard some fake news yesterday that he's fighting some guy from Canada. Okay. And then when I made the post, I um, I got corrected that it was a fake post. From MTK Global. It was a different Twitter account. However, I will say this. One of the people in the forum post said that... Um, let me just say this. One of the people said... Sent me this thing. Matthew Bole. Um, he said... J'ai fait mes vérifications, le comte de MTK est un fax, and then everything else in uh, French. The translation to that is, I did my checks, MTK's account is a fake, but there are indeed negotiations between uh, Eye of the Tiger Management and MTK Global, which manage the careers of Keen and Fury. Spence versus Garcia and Garcia Campbell the same day. Fury's like, yeah, he is lying. But I'm just saying, what's being put out is a bunch of speculation. And people want to act like this is Wilder's fault. Wilder's agreed to dates. And Fury's side have been pushing it back. And they've been not really um, interested in this fight. But um, Simon Keane, very interesting one. Um, let me show you the rankings, okay? Again, let me just see this. Okay, these are the rankings of October 2020, okay? This is the top 15. These are the top 15 contenders. You've got... All these guys, okay? The guy that's been thrown out there is this dude. Agit Kabeel from Germany. Agit Kabeel is 20 and 0 with 13 KOs. He's 6 foot 3. He is the number 2 heavyweight in Germany. And looking from his resume, he has fought absolutely no one. His biggest wins are Chisora, Hubux, and Rudenko. Hubux got beat by Revis the same year, I think. Chisora was one and one in his last fight. Rudenko was one on one in his last fight. So, could someone explain to me 
Hey, Parkour Master, welcome. Could someone explain to me how this is um, fair? Because that's a git, and then you've got Takam, who's very confident he'll get the fight. He called Tyson Fury out. Takam is 39-5-1. He's got 28 KOs. He's lost by knockout three times, and he has one draw. He's in the number two heavyweight in France, okay? And he's got a freaky reach for his size. He's got 80 and a half. That's quite long, right? If we look through Takam, right, he lost to Gregory Tony, which is not a good um, look at all. Uh, he had a draw with Perez. He beat Tony Thompson. He then got knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. Um, he then went on and fought no one. He had a close fight with Parker. He then fought guys at Bakarun, who White has beat. And then he lost twice in a row to Joshua Chisora. And from then on, it's been about four fights of not a whole lot of good stuff. I mean, I've seen all three of these fights. Um, we've then got this guy. Let me just get back to the chat real quick. We have got this guy who's been thrown in the mix. We have got Simon Keane. And now I've seen this guy fight. And let me tell you this. Um, I don't think he's even boxed. Like, I mean, he is terrible, this guy. This guy is, I believe, number 27 in the rankings. Number 27 in the rankings. Okay. He's not in the top 15, and he will not get an exemption over these guys. He won't, because he's on a winning record. He's won. He just won. He lost, but he was still in the top 10. He defeated. Uh, he just won and fought Fury already. He's on a winning streak. He just fought for a mandatory shot. This guy is managed by the same, I think, Mahmoudov, right? All these other guys have got winning streaks. But Simon Keane is a big dude. He's a very big guy. All right. All of his fights have been in Canada. He got stopped by someone that was 13 and 3 in 2018. It was a bad knockout. He was knocked out unconscious. Okay. He's beaten Lahovic and Martz in the last, what, six fights, uh, two and three. Two and four, sorry, Lahovic. And Mars was three and three. And they want to put this guy in with Fury. And don't let the KO record um, pull you. Look who he's for. He's for absolutely no one. He's for absolutely no one. One win, one win, losing record, loss, losing record, losing record, one and one. Right. Tune up, losing record, lost all his other fights, winning record, but still nothing really. Mostly losses, lose, loss. Again, a tune up, um, a small step up in competition, but nothing special. Um, a one on one in his last fight, loss, loss. More losses than wins, three and three. I mean, it's just terrible, you know? Who the oh, f is this guy? Yeah. Wait till you see um, BFTB. Tell BFTB about that crap. Uh, let me show you who Simon Keane is, people. Let me show you who Simon Keane is. <laughs> Before I show you, doesn't really matter if Fury beats Takam because you already got beat by Joshua and Chisora. No, that's true, Parkle. That is 100% true. Um... That is 100% true. Let me show you Simon Keane. Okay? This guy, man. I know. It's terrible, Mr. Shelton. Fury is obligated to fight Wilder or be sued. I'm going to address that in a minute. I just want you to see who Simon Keane is. I want you to see who Simon Keane is. Simon says... Clap your hands. Simon says... Can you throw throw a straight right hand? This is Simon Keane, okay? 
This is Simon Keen. Simon Keen. This is a couple of years ago. This is Simon right here, okay? Without the beard. <laughs> oh, God. Look. So that's Simon on the right. A very big man. Very big. But shocking base. Um, he's not fast. He's got no power for his size. Um, th this is like an amateur in there. If you look at his form, how he throws it, his elbow is just completely gone. The guy he's fighting is just not impressive in the slightest. Um, it's shocking, man. It really is. I mean, you look at this guy, he's got no power. It takes one or more, um, uh, it's just a, it's just shocking, really. I mean, it's mad. Also, watcher, why does keep trolling in your comments? Oh, he's gone. I don't, I don't care about that that um that thing. I don't care. <laughs> now, Fury is obligated to fight while he'll be sued. Very interesting you say this because I talked to someone on boxing scene. And I was just, you know, because they seemed like they knew what they were talking about, which they do. I asked them what they think. Um, what they think of the whole situation with what Bob Arum is saying and all that. Yeah, I know what you mean, Parkle. Um, so this person said to me, I said, you think the WBC would strip Fury if they spoke out about this, right? And this is what the guy said. He's saying, at this point, with the facts that are available, yes. The WBC doesn't really make decisions based on contracts. The WBC already approved the rematch, which means that Wilder receives the same protection as a mandatory challenger. Regardless of whether the contract expired, the order has not. So he's talking about the order of this third fight. WBC will still expect the rematch to be fulfilled and could care less about the state of the current contract. If the order stands, Fury will lose his belt if he fights another opponent without dealing with Wilder first. And then I asked him, to clarify, I said, I think um, I've got that. So pretty much if Fury fights Takam, Cabell, or anyone else December 5th, or just overall, not Deontay himself, then he is stripped of the WBC title, correct? And then he said, yes, he will be stripped. So what I can say is this. Go ahead, Tyson. Go and fight. Go and fight and get Cabell or Carlos Takam or Simon Keane. Go fight one of them. Go fight one of them. Parkour Master, if Fury actually does fight Takam, who could wild fight? I'll answer that with this. This is what I'm saying. Um, you get stripped of the WBC because the WBC have ordered this rematch, this trilogy. As long as that order still stands, which it probably will. Not only will he break contract, he'll break the WBC's um, order. He'll go to court probably with Wilder or for that rematch. And then the title is vacant. In over 30 days, Dillian White and Alexander Povekin will fight in their rematch for the mandatory spot. So the winner of that can fight Deontay for the vacant strap. The vacant WBC strap. So, Parker, I, I said, um, I just said who he'd fight. He, he fights the winner of White Pavekin. Because Fury can just, if Fury does this, this, if Fury fights someone else, that's it. You're no longer champion. Goodbye. You get stripped. You're getting stripped, my friend. He has a contract. Well, he might break it. You never know.
People are posting videos saying that Wilder uh, isn't ready to fight in December. Yeah, he is. He's agreed to the date. You wouldn't agree to a date if you weren't ready. Ooh, why hasn't Wilder spoken? Wilder's not ready. Let's be consistent. Let's be unbiased and logical. All right, we'll be unbiased and logical. Fury's been ordered to take the rematch, as is Wilder. Fury's getting stripped if he doesn't fight in the rematch. He can get the franchise title. You know what Fury can do? He can get sued the crap out of in court, get stripped of the actual um of the actual original WBC belt, have the franchise, go and fight a git or Takam or whoever else, Keen, right? Go do that, then go and fight Joshua. And then it can be like Lopez Loma. It won't matter. It won't matter. Do that. Fine. Uh, while the KO is white, that's my unbiased opinion. Yeah. I think he does as well. If Wilder fought a prime Pavek and that would be a close fight, it would, but Pavek and ran and he cheated. Um, that's that, man. I mean... There's no good way this ends for Fury. Unless he fights Wilder, which still won't end very well for him, in my opinion. So what? You get to get sued, and you got to get stripped. Fury should just request the franchise belt, in my opinion. Just request that. Just request that. There's no point. There's no point. And you don't have to fight the mandatory. That's going to be decided on the 21st of November. So again... It won't matter. It won't matter at all. You want to fight someone that's what? 27th ranked? Where's Carlos Takam ranked? Uh, I got to go back to my... um The PDF. Let's see. Carlos Takam, number 16 in the WBC. Not even in the top 15. Um, Who else? It gets 15. Carlos is 16. Keen is 27. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, we we ne this was unheard of when Wilder was making his reign. This was unheard of. Do you think Fury is scared of Wilder? I don't think he's scared of Wilder. I just think he's he's so bored with all his millions and his support network. This man is still bored and he wants to fight. So he just wants to bail out. Because it's a more dangerous fight. I don't think Fury wants to get knocked out or cut open on the eye again. Like he did with Otto Wallen. So, um, no, I don't think he's scared. I just think he's he's unhinged. He's very unpredictable. That audio I played for you, I don't believe it. But still, if it happens, you're getting stripped and you're getting sued. Or you're getting one of them. <laughs> But you probably are going to get stripped as well, and that's just the that's just the uh, black and the white of it, really. It just is, you know. Like he won't dare call out Revis, uh, Hunter, um, who else? Martin. He won't call out those guys, you know. Luis Ortiz, you know. Even though he's got to fight, he'll gladly drop out to fight Fury. You know? Yeah, it's just, this is boxing, guys. You get used to it. There's a lot of nonsense that goes on. It's not about legacy with Fury. It's about money. <sighs> Excuse me. It's about money. You know? Let me just read... Uh, I got sent this comment. Let me just read this. Getting a bunch of trolls again. Um, I know this is a bit off topic, but who do you think will win this Saturday between Chazora and Usyk? I like both. I'm going to be so nervous. Um, Chazora. I didn't give Usyk really a chance at all in that fight. I didn't give him a chance at all. He has nothing. 
He has nothing for him at all. He has a sneaky left hand that has no power on it. And then speed. That's all he's got. He's got nothing else. Jazura is far more versatile. Who's better at boxing on the back foot? Usyk, okay. And what? You can't land. You can't land against a big man like that. <laughs> Not with Chizora's defense. He's very defensively sound. He has a lot of defensive maneuvers, Chizora does. But yeah, Fury has a contract to fulfill. He'll just break it. He doesn't give a shit. Why would a guy like that give a shit? He's a gypsy. People that people that come from that background, they don't care, man. They don't give a crap. They don't give a crap what you say or what you tell them. They give zero shits about following through with things. You could not trust Fury with the key to, to life. Seriously. It's complete madness. Same, I got Chizora, yeah. I genuinely think Usyk has nothing for him. I got so much in the gym for saying the top three guys beat Usyk, so I hope he does. Are you are you saying Fury Wilder Joshua? Is that what you mean? Fury Wilder Joshua, or whatever order you want to put them in. That's not a, my order. I'm just saying. Because I think those three do beat Usyk. Usyk could beat Fury because that's a stylistically very different fight. But still, he should have just stayed at Cruiserweight. He should have just stayed at Cruiserweight. He's going to get badly hurt. He he really is going to get badly hurt at this weight. He really is. I don't care if he box Joe Joyce in amateurs and, you know, I don't care about that. That's the amateurs. That's different. You're in against guys that aren't as experienced, you know? I'm going to break it down on Loz D Boxing Punch Out TV's channel because I'm not, um, sometimes I don't have time to do the stream or I just can't be bothered doing it if I'm honest <laughs> because there's a lot of other good content creators who um, run it down really well in terms of topics related to this, but Keep yawning. It's so annoying, man. But yeah. I mean, yeah, man. I mean, Mr. Shelton, Parkour Master, and all us other boxing fans. But there's C Theory versus Simon Keen, maybe, eh? <laughs> oh, no. What a terrible, terrible thing. If it, you know what? And that's like why, like, people are making videos saying that while there's not ready, how the fuck would you know? If he's not ready. You guys just make videos on Wilder for money. That's what you do it for. Really. You just want you want viewership, you want money, and you want subscribers. You you want that. He is the biggest name in boxing. Everyone talks about him every day. Anti Wilder channels make fucking two to three videos on him almost every day. They'll bring shit up. From six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago about this man. I'm making videos on him. It's just nuts. Seriously. Nah, no one wants to see Fury versus Simon. <laughs> Simon Keen. Simon Keen, eh? The thing in that fight is he doesn't even have a puncher's chance. I really hate to see that. I really hate to see that. You know? I want to see these three boys. Hold on a minute. Someone put this shit in the chat. I don't want to. Let's go to Google Translate. Some Portuguese dude said good night. I have no idea what you're on about, man, but whatever. <laughs> I've had some weird um comments and, and live stream chat um instances from people. 
Man. But yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. I don't really want to see Fury in there with anyone else. I don't want him gone. He's so boring. Just his fucking antics and the crap he talks and his decision making. You know? But I don't I don't like it. You know? Oh man. Seriously, it's just a big old joke now. And I've asked Mauricio with Suleiman. I've said you know, will he be stripped? Because like I need to know, did you order the rematch? And just for just for transparency, you know? And and yeah, I mean this is not something to be proud of or fond of. You know. But yeah, if you got other questions, by all means, because I'm gonna wrap the stream up soon. This is a um this is a shorter stream. So yeah. Pretty much. I'm gonna wrap it up soon. Oh man. But I'll admit even today there's not too much um there's not too much news going around. You know? But I tell you what, there hasn't been much promotion for the uh Chazora fight this week. There really hasn't, which is kind of disappointing. I don't believe it's a pay-per-view fight anyway, but I will be up for it. I'll be watching it. Oh, man. I just want Chizora to fucking obliterate this guy, man. Oh, hold on a minute. Man, people... All right, I'm just looking at. Damn it! All right, let's see the chat. Fury vs. Wild next, and the winner fights the winner of Joshua Pulov. That's what we want to see. Maybe imagine we get Fury Pulov. That will be. I don't know, man. Who do you think will be Wilder's toughest fight? Who he hasn't fought yet. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think the toughest fights are um behind him. Barring uh, minus Joshua, I think Joshua is a very hard fight for him, and I think Wild is a very hard fight for him. Um, I think Revis. I think Oscar Revis. Nah, no, nah, not Revis. I don't, I don't know, really. I think Joshua is. I think Joshua. And I'd say probably Luis Ortiz, you know, if they fought a third time. Luis Ortiz. He's a bad style for Wilder, but Wilder knows how to um, how to tame that style. That style of his. I think it is Joshua, though. You know, I think it's Joshua. Let me just, um, let me see. Nope. Hold on a second. I'm a fan of Joshua, but unbiased opinion, I think Wilder beats him sadly. Oh, really? You doubting your boy? You can't doubt your boy, man. Come on. Your guy, Joshua, man, he's he's my guy as well. You know, he's, he's that good of a fighter, but, I mean, it's hard, man. Part of me doesn't even want to see that fight. Far, I'm such a fan of both. It's like... I don't know, man. 
This whole Chisora fight, though, man, I'm I'm really wanting to um. I'm just wanting to see Chisora blow this guy out the water. Usyk just has nothing for him. I, the only way I see Usyk beating him is if Chisora just lets him. If he just stands there and does nothing and just takes too many shots. And he just gets tired quickly. Joshua gets hit with right hands a lot in his past fights. Getting rid of Wilder's right hand. I'll still back him up in that fight. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a funny one because they both hit hard. So really, if if Joshua lands on Wilder, he could put him out. Because Joshua is probably, in my opinion, the second hardest puncher in the division. You know, very good finisher. But I think Wilder's got the better chin. And he has the better defense as well. Better head movement, better upper body movement. He gets out of the way with his feet a little better as well. He's, he's better at catching punches with his glove. I think Joshua's good at uh, blocking. He did a long attack hand fight. His stepping game is good. His movement overall is better, I think. Just a little bit, maybe, from that Ruiz fight. But yeah, I mean, this pull that fight will tell us a lot, you know? That will tell us a heap. It really will. So yeah. But man, if Chisora wins, he fights Joshua next, probably. Imagine Chisora won. Ooh, that would be insane. That would be something else. <laughs> oh, no, man. It's absolutely ridiculous how things can... Um... I think Joshua stylistically beats Fury. Yeah, he does. I don't think I don't think Fury beats a lot of guys. I think who beats Fury? Wilder? Ortiz? I think Ruiz, if he's disciplined, he could. Hunter Revis, Charles Martin. Honestly, I think um, a lot of guys beat Fury. Because those guys are listed. A lot of them don't have a chance against Joshua. I hope Del Boy gets the upset. Yeah, I do too. I, it, I'm really confident he wins. He, like, like, seriously, I believe he wins. I truly believe that. I truly, truly believe Chisora wins. I really do. Chisora says it's not going to be easy. It's only not easy if you just let him... If you let him move and you stand in front of him and don't do anything, then yes, it, it won't be easy. But if you just be you and be smart about your pressure, you win. It's, it's, not, it's not a hard ask, really. You know, I think Joshua KO's Fury in round five. It could be he could do it in round one. He could do it in um in round five. I don't know. I just don't see that fight happening either. You know, I really don't see that how Usyk has a chance in this. I mean, it's just... I don't know, man. I really don't know. Like, I look at him train as well, and it's like... I'm just looking at this video that Usyk has put up. Usyk's going to be in a real fight. And I like Usyk, you know. I think he's good. I just think he... Like, I think Joshua would really beat him up badly. I just... Usyk, he just does not like to get hit at all. He really doesn't. 
Because you, because everyone just assumes that this guy can just box freely. He can't. Not when you got a high guard like that. That 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 is that strong. I don't know, man. I don't know. He's just got no chance. He didn't look good against uh, with the spoon either. He looked terrible. He really did. He really didn't look well. I mean, his face was marked up. And he was completely gone. He was gone. I'm telling you. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thanks for the people that joined the chat. Again, not too much news today. I want to do this stream yesterday or the day before. But yeah, it's just... Um, I think maybe next month there's a lot because there's only a week left this month anyway. But lose sick fights good. Again, not being promoted very well though. But yeah, with that, I'm out. Peace.